To name this show you an advanced fighting script created by Nas, it completely changes how fighting is done with dodge and punching stamina, as well as 26 different finisher animations. Each finisher includes custom sounds and works with both real players and NPCs. It's also easy to edit so you can disable or tweak features to fit your server. Use the resource link in the description to check out all the features and watch the creator's preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Here you can see a description, preview, and list of features. If and once you purchase, go to the CFX portal and into the Assets section. Then find the dependency NAS lib and download it. Find NAS fighting and download that as well. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. I'll drag them over, then extract. And then do the same for NASLib. Then rename to move the pack from the end for both of them. After that, go to your server config and ensure them. NASLib is a dependency, so make sure it starts first. The next thing to look at is the config. So go back to the NAS fighting folder. Find the config and open it up. The first option here is the minimum amount of health to start the animation, followed by camera options. Then there's an option to enable or disable the fighting sounds, followed by the actual sound names and volume. Then there are animation settings. You can enable a random chance for animations with a chance in percentage, and enable or disable the knockout feature with options for the knockout time, and a random chance that it happens. Next are options for the fighting system. You can enable or disable it, which leaves you with the finisher animations and not the stamina and such. Then there are the stamina settings, followed by options for punching, reaching zero stamina, and a damage modifier. These have explanations in the compted out text, so be sure to read through them and set it up for your server. Next are the color options for the progress bar based on stamina level, and an option to exclude jobs from losing stamina, followed by an option to disable the stamina bar. Next are sets of moves players can do, followed by an option to set the moves uh, based on the job. And the last thing here is an option to restrict the fighting to players with certain permissions. If you made changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of 101 servers using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Sloth, 101 Service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets, with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. Once you start punching, your stamina goes down, and of course with the break from punching, it goes back up. The stamina also goes down when you dodge. I think you're the chosen one, man. Once the animation starts, so does the audio, and during that, the stamina recharges. You're totally crushing Whatever. it, man. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.